Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for January the 20th of 2021. Well, it is titled the magnetic field of the Whirlpool Galaxy. So what do we see here? Well, this is a galaxy known as the Whirlpool Galaxy, a grand spiral galaxy with majestic spiral arms swirling out around. And you can see that image hidden below in this uh, picture. But on top of it, there is some uh, measurements of the magnetic field of the galaxy to study this. And we look at the uh, galaxies with infrared radiation and radio waves and that allows us to look at the polarization of the light which tells us something about the orientation of the dust grains which in turn allows us to infer the direction of the magnetic field at various points. So the, what's mapped out here the contours on top are all the magnetic field lines and how they twist around. And it's very interesting because one of the things that we're finding is that when we look at them in radio waves, they seem to follow along the spiral arm. So they trace out the spiral arm pattern. So we might expect that infrared would do the same thing. But the infrared pattern that we see is actually showing them weaving around the arm. So they're going across the arms instead of following along the arms. So there's definitely something different going on with the alignment of the particles within these areas in the infrared as compared to at radio wavelengths. So that's one of the reasons we like to study things at all different wavelengths across the electromagnetic spectrum. Studying things in visible light and infrared and radio waves, for example, is helping to give us a more complete picture of things like the Whirlpool galaxy. And while we may not completely understand exactly what everything we're finding out means yet, certainly it's much better to have that complete picture to be able to help us to better understand and to eventually figure out what is going on in this galaxy. Now one of the thoughts might be that the uh, smaller galaxy up towards the top of the image is distorting some of this. So it may be distorting the galaxy and causing distortions within the magnetic field. And that's something to look at. And as we study more galaxies, with this and look at other galaxies to be able to compare, we can start to get a better picture of how the magnetic fields of the galaxies are interrelated with the structure of the galaxy with itself, and hopefully give us a better understanding of galaxies and how they work. So that was our picture of the day for January the 20th of 2021. It was titled the magnetic field of the Whirlpool galaxy. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone and I will see you in class.